Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of plant cycle. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 32. Samuel was walking along the road when he saw plant X growing around a tree. So in part A, they said, based on your observation of plant X, what can he conclude about the stem of plant X? So let's take a look at the diagram. We know that plant X is this part of the plant, and you can see that the stems of this plant is actually growing around the tree for support. And how come the stem has to grow around a tree for support? This means that the stem of plant X must be weak. And that's the answer for part A. We can write down that plant X has a weak stem. Next, let's take a look at part B. So for part B, they want you to explain why the plant X need to grow upwards around the tree. So to answer this question, let's imagine if this plant was not climbing around the tree, but instead is lying flat on the ground. So when plant X is growing upwards, what do you think it's trying to reach out for? It is actually trying to reach for something that's coming from the sky. Now, what do all plants need that comes from the sky? All plants need to trap sunlight. So when the plant is growing upwards, it is actually trying to get more or less sunlight. It's trying to get more sunlight. And why do the leaves of the plant need to trap more sunlight for? They need to trap more sunlight for photosynthesis. And we all know photosynthesis is the process to make food. And with that, that's our answer for part B. So we can write down that plant X needs to grow upwards around the tree so that its leaves can trap more or we can also write enough sunlight for photosynthesis to make food. Lastly, let's take a look at part C. So for part C, Samuel said he encountered another plant on his way back. And this plant did not have any flowers at all. As such, he concluded that it must have been a non-flowering plant. Now, do you agree with Samuel? And why? So, just because we see a plant without any flowers, does it mean for sure it must be a non-flowering plant? No. In fact, can you think of any reasons why it could be a flowering plant? First of all, in order to see flowers on a flowering plant, can the flowers be seen at all stages of the flowering plant? No, in fact, flowers can only be observed growing on which stage? It can only be found on the adult stage. So let's write this down. It can only be found on the adult plant. And if this plant that he saw did not have any flowers, what is a possible explanation why? It could have been a flowering plant, but it was not in the adult stage, which means the plant that he encountered was probably a young flowering plant. So that is the answer for part C. We can write down, no, I do not agree. The plant may be a young flowering plant. As it is not in the adult stage yet, it would not be able to produce flowers. So that's the answer for part C. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!